Some of you may remember the SR-71 Blackbird that was released on the workshop in April. Aside from being an amazing looking plane on the outside, the cockpit had one of the coolest layouts in game. Today, we'll be looking at one piece in particular, the fuel pump switches which use some clever math to display a lively on and off pattern. The first thing you want to do is set up an instrument panel block with a flip switch and a bar segment. Set its operation mode to bits so that way the bar displays a numerical input in binary. Starting from the right, the first column will activate when the number input is 1, or 2 to the power of 0. The same pattern increases all the way up the 8 segments until 2 to the power of 7, or 128. We can't stop there if we want to activate the whole display. We'll keep counting up until our numerical value reaches 1 less than 2 to the power of 8, which is 255. To make all the segments turn on and off in sequence, all we have to do is count up the powers of 2, subtracting 1 every time. This equation can be written into a function block. To turn the indicator on and off, we need to first read the composite channel of the switch, then place an up-down block that counts up from 0 to 8 in increments of 1. Then reverse the signal into the down port of the block. This will count back down to 0 when the flip switch is turned off. Finally, make sure to enable the clamp. From here, all that's left to do is plug the counter into our expression from earlier, write a composite out to the same block for the indicator, and create a boolean output to turn on the actual pump. To make this work with two switches and indicators, you'll have to duplicate the code. Switch up the channels and add one more boolean out to your second pump. Finally, let's add some flare to our indicator by fading out a color towards the top. And there you have it, a quick and easy way to make your fuel pump switch a little less boring. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.